Welcome back to Diving In Deep. Today, I am joined by one of the most dynamic forces in the film and music video industry. With over two decades of experience, Peter Zavadil has gone from the bottom to the top, working with legends like Waylon Jennings and Dolly Parton. A highly acclaimed director with numerous ACM and CMA nominations, two CMA wins, and a national Emmy. He has crafted iconic music videos for stars like Eric Church, Blake Shelton, and Reba McIntyre, including my video for Born to Fly, which won CMA Video of the Year, and almost all of my music videos. Beyond music, he's directed impactful television and documentary projects, including daring work in Iraq and Afghanistan. Please welcome the tirelessly enthusiastic Peter Zavadil. Hey, Peter Zavadil. Hola. How's Hi. it going? I am a great, really good, actually. I have a lovely day. I am so happy to finally have you on the podcast. I've been wanting you to be a guest because we have so much history together. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably, I bet we are the longest running duo uh, of video director video artist, yeah. and artist. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's probably, I mean, if I do the math, uh, we... First, we worked on Born to Fly. That was October 2000 was mm -hmm. when that record was released. Yes. And Born to Fly was out there. And, you know, it's funny if we're talking about, uh, I mean, to kind of clarify, uh, you are a country artist and I am a music video director. And a music mm -hmm. video director's job is basically to listen to a song and come up with an idea. Right. And, and we hadn't worked together yet. Um, so it was one of those things where, and I had just started, I was just starting to really direct and mm -hmm. starting to kind of get my name on the map. And I remember listening to that song and it's like the first line, you know, I've been telling my dreams of Scarecrow. I'm like, this is like, you know, somewhere over the rainbow. This is born. This is basically Wizard of Oz. Yes. And it was like, it like instant, you know, like sometimes just like an idea just hits you like a bolt of lightning. Right. Well, because and the song is a song that I wrote, which is kind of like a mini autobiography, but it's about a girl on a farm in the Midwest, uh, it was Missouri, not Kansas, <laughs> but the same deal. I mean, she's, you know, somewhere <laughs> over the exactly. rainbow. That's what born to fly is, you know, like absolutely I'm meant to do that. And I remember, I'm not sure if I saw any of your work or if, if somebody just said, you know, he's the hot new, yeah. uh, director, whatever. But I do remember that conversation because I was living in Creve Hall. I remember going outside, talking to you on the phone, and we both were completely on board with that Absolutely. sexy Dorothy. Absolutely. We were going to be a sexy the, Dorothy. The, the pigtails and mm -hmm. like the, remember those jeans? I mean, you, I mean, how many wardrobe changes did we do in that thing? We did like. We did the red leather pants, yeah. the short purple skirt. Yep. Um, those awesome jeans on the couch this with that beautiful sweater. Yeah, That's the best I, yeah. scene. And I, yes, yes. And yeah. then, um, was uh, that it? There we, was, yeah, I think there was. Oh, no. Was, and the other jeans on the. On the I'm balancing, like, yeah, on the fence. The on shiny the fence. ones. And the white the shirt. Yeah, it was a yeah. white shirt, sort of similar to this one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it was tied up. Yeah. And, you know, I've told the story a million times about when I was nine months pregnant with Avery, <laughs> I was laying on the couch watching CMT and I saw Faith Hill's breathe video and I was so pissed because I was like, Oh my God, she's so skinny. And I had gained, you know, like 70 pounds with Avery. <laughs> and so I told myself on the couch, like when I make this next record, first video, first photo shoot, everything, I'm going to become a sex symbol because, you know, I felt so just pregnant yeah. and frumpy. Yeah. Yeah. And so I did start that. I, you know, as soon as the baby was born, I immediately started trying to lose the weight. Da, da, da. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Then we wrote born to fly. Everybody agreed that it was the first single. So, you know, talking to you. And I remember back then that we were a little bit worried about like, we can't really say 
that we're copying. Yeah, you, it, you, it's, it's homage. I mean, it's basically homage. You yeah. know what I mean, so so yeah, you have to. It, it, it's sort of like a wink kind of thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? And 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 you know what was fun is we. I mean, we casted we casted all of the characters, but they were all pre Oz. So you know yes. the the Wicked Witch who she looked totally like the Wicked Witch. Yes. And your brother, my brother Matt, who yeah. ended up being in every video. <laughs> that was kind of the thing. Yeah. Once he got yeah, in. Cameo in every video. Yeah, and 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 so it was. It was a little bit like a kind of wink and a nod. Um, but but you know that was a big day for you. I mean, you yeah. we had you working the whole time, and and uh, I recall this. It, and the reason I'm bringing this up because this sort of became a theme for us as we as we continued to work together. Um, you uh, basically, uh, we didn't know when we kicked on the giant fan, like, like that 10 foot t- tall fan and we were throwing the hay in there. We didn't know that you were allergic to hay. So yeah. that was kind of the beginning of, you know, the abuse that I put you through. Well, if the uh-huh. fans remember, it's the scene where I'm in the red leather pants and my hair is blowing back. So you guys got this fan it was as big as this room it was huge yeah it was i don't like even know if fan. i was allergic to hey peter you just <laughs> literally demolished me and it was not the last scene no it wasn't and so we we were like this is gonna be so cool so you're like turn on the fan and it was like and all the hay and the dirt yeah. and everything that we had put down in the ground to make yeah. it look like we were on a farm yep. blew in my face covered my face with like a inch yeah. thick of dust so we had to go up and take a break and yeah. take all my makeup and off. remember i was begging because i want to do the last one i want to do the one on the be- on the couch remember and yeah. i'm saying this is everybody's like no she, she's good we should send her home she's been you beat the crap out of her today i'm like no just one last you're so one right you were so right and, but you were exhausted and there were there if you look at that that just that is just sarah didn't care but and also just, the fact I mean, that i looked so tired it made me look Somehow it made me look beautiful You because I was so that's like, some of the most gorgeous stuff I think we've ever shot. We've you ever know, shot. Uh, Stronger, though, was a gorgeous video. Yeah, and it that was. was all just, you know, just I mean, you think about how simple that video was. Mm-hmm. You know what well, I mean? let's go back to wait. I want to go yeah. back to Born to Fly because yeah, yeah. that that did a lot of good for us. Oh, so, absolutely. I mean, it put me on the map. Yeah. You know what I mean? We won CMA video CMA, of the year. That was so cool. Because in those days, there was so much more money. Like yeah, we, we oh, recently had a conversation yeah. about this because we were actually selling albums. You know, I've talked about this probably on every podcast so yeah. far or most that we were selling a product, so we were making money. So Absolutely. the labels had big budgets. Absolutely. How much would you say the budget was for that video? That was, uh, oh, close to 100 Right. Basically, which is a good budget, which is a good budget Especially at that time, you know, um, but you're absolutely right. I mean, people don't pay for music anymore. Right. So, so we uh, have no way of making money off of our music other than touring, touring, touring and merch and yeah. product placement partnerships, you know, branding partnerships and all that. Exactly. But, yeah. and, and podcasts. Yeah. Podcasts. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so come on down. <laughs> you casted. I want to go into detail about this particular video born to fly because yeah, you cast it so perfectly i remember the lady that was playing the wicked witch she walked in and we were all kind of getting to know each other and she goes don't even act like you don't know what part i'm here for <laughs> like she was so funny and she was. she was fabulous my brother played the scarecrow scarecrow and that was so funny because but then i don't know how you did it you had People flying through the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, it was a the, magical uh, the, video. The tornado, the tornado. Yeah, that yeah. was really fun too. Which, I, like I said, that, that was a super fun project to work on. It because, really was. You know, because first of all, I mean, I grew up on Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean, I was like terrified. The only the, the only thing we didn't have, which we should have had, were the flying monkeys. Yes. <laughs> because the flying monkeys are the ones that always freaked me out. That probably so. would have put us over budget. <laughs> yeah, probably would have put yeah, us Yeah, and scared the shit out of us. <laughs> what are these monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> but um, everybody felt the same way that we did about it because it was, you know, number one on the CMT charts. Yeah. Oh. It was nominated. Yeah, for- when it was yeah when I when it was nominated, I literally had a lot of people call and compliment me and say, "Oh, hands down." Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it was like one of those things. Like people were already like this. It was gonna you know nothing got close. And we won. Yeah, and we won. That was exciting. Um, 
And that video to this day is is one of the most popular videos, you yeah. know, of all time. It was just absolutely. Well, I don't know how you did it. I don't know well, what, how did you make people fly. Uh, well, we, green screen, uh, we had these like little platforms and like these little pedestals and stuff. So like the guys would like lean on it and swim. And then we had the bike. We had to suspend the bike on the green screen. So it's all composited. I mean, you know, it was it, we tried to do it a little kind of lo fi just because we like the idea of kind of keeping it retro. -y. But right. um, but yeah, yeah, that was the uh, the effects were uh, a little homespun. I guess, mm -hmm. for a lack of a better term, building the set was super cool too. You know what I mean? Because you wanted, you wanted, it, you wanted, we wanted it to feel like literally the the yard in uh, a Wizard of Oz. You know, uh, where they're all, you know, they're fixing the before she goes to exactly. Oz. Exactly. So they're fixing that, and then we had the cute little Toto dog. I mean, we tried. So all that stuff, you know, uh, yeah, that that was just recreating all that was, and, and it, I it was serendipitous one reason it was so popular was because little kids loved it and anytime you know it's like the taylor swift uh phenomenon yep. because she appealed to, to teenage girls absolutely. and little girls and yeah. has kept that going oh, and now yeah. all of those little girls are now like 30 yep and they all have and their daughters her. are now and yeah. their daughters oh, now yeah. yeah 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 and and Taylor's music has standed the test of time. It's not, it's not that, I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, but she did appeal to that younger audience, yeah. but that's kind of what we did. I mean, everybody just loved watching that video and yeah. seeing the similarities to the wizard of Oz. Yeah. Um, but the little Toto dog almost bit me and that, that is on the video. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah. He like snapped at me and almost bit my nose his off. His attention. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. So, um, so well done. Yeah. On that and, video. and I think, I think, I honestly think another watchability factor with a good music video is a good story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I can, there are films, I mean, Wizard of Oz, for example, how many, I can't even count how many times I've seen that movie. So right. when you have some, a good story and it's got good energy and the song hits, it's like one of those things where just everything aligned perfectly. And that, and, and you could watch that video a thousand times. A thousand times. You know? And also, you know, it's a great, it's one of the best recordings I've ever done. Yeah. Musically. So yeah. the music on the album goes on for yeah. a long time, uh, yeah, yeah. not the radio version, but the, and so we use that yeah. for the video. So it's just like, so the, you got all, dun, dun, yeah, dun, that, dun, yeah, the that jam, that goes, yeah, yeah, the jam. Yeah, during the, yeah, that little, that little riff. So cool. Yeah. To keep it in there. You know what I mean? It was amazing. Yeah, but yeah, the, the part on the couch and I don't even know, I think Mary Beth, I don't, I think Earl Cox did my hair Earl, yeah. and Mary Beth Feltz did my makeup for that. And Claudia Fowler was yeah. Yeah, the Claudia. Wardrobe. Oh my and God, that was such a great team. Everything came together. Those guys were that was an excellent team. Yeah. Excellent so, team. what was our second video together? Uh, well, we did. Um, I, I think we did Angels, uh, Saints, Saints and, and Angels, Angels uh, which was a little more of a somber kind of piece. Uh, the, I think, oh, uh, because saints and angels came out uh, right around nine 11. Yeah, exactly. And we, it was, there was that kind of the idea of the anonymity and the masses and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a more effective kind of, uh, like emotional kind of piece. Um, like we're all one. Exactly. I think we, as a country yeah. during that time, we all felt very cohesive and yeah. very together. Yeah. It didn't matter if you were a Democrat yeah. or a Republican, everyone matter. was absolutely together yeah. and resolute and, and also you know kind of a time where you really you value your relationships your family mm -hmm. i mean there was i think there was a yeah a real sort of you know i mean and i i was just getting married my wife and i were just getting married mm -hmm. um so yeah there was a lot of like emotional you kind of kind of trying to focus on the emotional relationship stuff and the human human aspect of uh struggle in relationships yeah. but at the end of the day you know, because the song says when we're torn apart, shattered and scarred, mm. love has the grace to save us. Yeah. We're just two tarnished hearts, but in each other's arms, we become saints and angels. So you yeah. made some storylines. Yeah. Apart about from my performance. Relationships. Yeah. All that. Kind yeah. Of stuff. Like a yeah. mother and daughter fighting yeah. and a couple fighting. Yeah. And then you just decided to have all these different human beings walking like in a circle. Yeah. Like almost like surrounding you, like that kind of lost in the crowd kind of thing or, you know, anonymity or identity. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that was that was uh, that I think that was uh, 
uh, that was kind of the the goal. And you can look for my brother Matt in that. Yeah, Matt's. He in was there. one of the people walking. Absolutely. But we had so much success with Born the Fly. We were like, it will be bad luck if Matt's not in the video. Remember? <laughs> I agree. The one that he, the one I think the one we did after that was uh, that it, that he wasn't in because uh, there wasn't any place to put him was um, could not ask for more. Correct. That would have been weird. That would have been weird. That was that was. <laughs> That was another one of those, oh my gosh, I'm abusing Sarah kind of jobs. Now, I will correct us. That was our second video. Yeah. Because that was released oh, before right. Saints and Angels. You're right. Could not ask for more. Yeah. So we went to White Sands, White Sands New, Mexico, New Mexico. Out in the, the middle of most, nowhere. Like, I think, I feel that you love to torture me. I, I, that was, uh, yeah. I do actually. It's you really, love to torture me. Uh, yeah. It, it's, it's fun. Uh, yeah. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> you and a lot of other people. But, uh, we went to White Sands, New Mexico, and they were so strict. Oh my gosh, about the, the sea, Rangers. Oh. The Rangers. So I remember we got to the hotel, <laughs> and Avery was. Oh, yeah. Avery was born right before Born to Fly. Right. So he was a baby. Then couldn't ask for more. He was a little bit older. He was about a year and a half. Yep. Um, and I remember we got there and we were all getting out of our cars and checking oh, into right. our rooms and I lost Avery. I don't know if you remember that. No. I lost him for a minute in the parking lot. <laughs> oh and so right from the get go, I'm like, oh, <gasps> and so we had like, I think we got there, we arrived, we were going to spend the night, get up the next morning and you wanted me to shoot at sunrise. Sunrise. Yeah. Sun coming up, time lapse. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and uh, we had this ranger lady who was like. I mean, like you can't step there. You can't step there. She's sitting there. Tell us all this place. We can't step. And then somebody who's just going to the park with their family just like goes tromping right through there. It's like, oh, but I can't stand there. Exactly. And remember, we, we I wanted to get a sunrise and it was supposed to be this beautiful, hot sun with heat waves and all that kind of stuff. And remember, and, and, and here it was, we get you up and we, the sun's coming up over the mountain and, and she's already done her safety thing. So we can't walk where we can't walk and sun's coming up over the mountain, <laughs> starting to look beautiful. And all of a sudden gray clouds come in and it was like, no, and it was freezing. It was freezing. And then, you know, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm like, going, and, and, you know, of course the, our Rangers goes, well, you know, this is unusual. You know, it's like 365 days of, you know, a year, only five of them we have, you know, clouds. I'm like, oh, so I picked one of the five days. We're going to have shitty weather. Never Excuse fails. my French. And, oh, I remember you were trying to sing and walk through the desert with winds blowing sideways at like 60 miles an hour. Right. Well, the first thing was, so the, the sunrise shot, yeah. I was in a green sweater and those, right. those cool jeans and jeans, cowboy boots. Those cool jeans. Cool yeah, jeans. those were sexy. And, and I had you rolling around on the sand. Rolling around the sand and like crawling like a <laughs> cat <laughs> through the sand. Hey, I was like, showing you how to do it. Remember, I was like, like this. Yeah, yeah. And, and I looked tired because <laughs> it was like so early, but it was a great shot. And then... Um, and then we had the Dolce Gabbana yeah, brown black, yeah. suede pants. Oh, those! Were and we kept cool. calling that the butt shot. Yeah, because it was the butt shot. Yeah, because it was a, it was a denim shot. jacket, and you were like, "We've got to get some more butt shots." So I would like turn. <laughs> those and, came out nice. Yeah, those came out nice. That's actually probably one of my favorite butt shots. Ever. Well, that video yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah. say it's just me, you know, on the sand singing a beautiful love yeah. song. And the funny part was for me is that I said, we need some kind of cool furniture and we weren't having any luck finding anything down there. And my mother-in-law lived up in Santa Fe. So That's right. all that furniture is from her. Well, I had a Santa Fe up and they just cleaned out her house and so all that furniture. But then of course it starts raining. And remember we had to throw that tarp over you. Yeah. So yeah. I would have to go out to my spot where I was going to perform right, and the song and then the... you guys would leave and we had and to dust out, remember all the footprints, all the footprints, dust them out. So once I was out on the spot, I was stuck there and had to do the performance. <laughs> well, it started raining <laughs> and y'all were like, you have to stay there. <laughs> and so one of the camera guys just threw like a tarp at me. Yep. I sat Furniture under the pad, tarp till yep. the rain passed. Yep. And yeah, so that was quite a difficult video <laughs> shoot too, and exhausting. Yep. Um, was, In the middle of nowhere. Was too. Born to Fly a two day shoot where just you guys one. just won? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, we've done. That's the thing is we've done most of our videos have been you know shooting Gone with the Wind in one day. That's right. You know, and you're, you know, it's interesting because you're usually every video I've done with you. Uh, well, I mean, other than you know Pride, which we just shot. Mm -hmm. 
uh, you're always involved in almost every aspect of it. So you're there, you're there from the morning, the, the day, the moment the sun comes up to all day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I remember, uh, I mean, not, not to be hopping and skipping around, but real fine place to start. I mean, that was another one where we just beat the crap out of you. Yeah. And, oh, and then, uh, speaking of suds in the bucket, if you remember suds in the bucket, you, you were like, Hey, I have to tell you something I'm like, okay, okay. What, what do you want to tell me? I'm pregnant and the label doesn't know. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> no one knows. I'm like, great. Yeah. So you're telling me. I, I don't even know if my ex-husband <laughs> so knew. So she said, you I'm have kidding. to, <laughs> yeah. so you were all like, you have to like, kind of make sure we avoid. Yeah. Because I was very skinny. Yeah. Which made it worse because the little, little baby bump, bump was yeah, showing. Yeah, I remember. And we had that cute dress. Yes. Had. Oh, that. The like cutest dress. Yeah. yeah. And so we shot most of that video from behind. Yeah. Yeah. If you notice, you're doing a lot of looking over your shoulder. Yeah. The yeah. Trying to hide the little <laughs> now baby bump. Now we it away. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So couldn't ask for more. Saints and Angels. Saints and Angels was a very sophisticated video. I had on a suit, a really yeah, cool suit yeah. with a scarf as a tie it was just beautiful yeah, that was i'd gorgeous. colored my hair kind of blonde and cut yeah, it a little bit and that was gorgeous it was gorgeous and that was a great you had a great team that was well that's why i always choose you though because you make me look gorgeous in every mm -hmm. video that and you know you can be very creative and and be a great director but if you don't take the time to make the artist happy about how she looks oh absolutely then I probably would have never hired you again, yeah. but I was astonished at how amazing you made me look in born yeah. fly. Yeah. That shot where I'm standing to this from the side with that yeah. purple skirt. Yeah. And I look 10 feet tall skirt. and it was so cute. Yeah. But you care about that a lot. Oh, and that absolutely. means everything to an artist. Well, I mean, think about it, you know, first of all, when you, when you decided that you wanted to be a music, you wanted to be an artist, a singer, it's not like you said, oh, I'm going to start taking acting lessons. You know, what you right. did is you worked on your craft, like how to be a singer, how to, how to, you know, deliver a song emotionally, you know what I mean? Like develop, define yourself as, as a, as an artist. Yeah. So, I grew up on stage, yeah, but not so, an exactly. actor. Yeah. So, so, so suddenly, you know, so many so many artists are thrown in a situation. It's like, oh, now you got to make your music video and you got to look great and you got to, you know, act and you got to, you know, you go through all this stuff and, and, you know, I always feel like it's hard. I can only imagine what it must feel like to be thrown out in front of a camera and like there's 50 people staring at you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so well, so, that's why I always want the music so loud. Yeah, exactly. Because so you can get into the music. Yes. Yeah, totally, totally. Because I feel like when you're shooting a video, you have to actually sing. Yeah. The song. To and make so there it have been days real. where I've yeah. sang the song 50 or a hundred times. Oh yeah. Um, because you want to see those veins, veins popping. Moving. And, oh, I agree. And yeah. you, that, that's also, you know, when you're really get, putting a song out there, yeah, you're, you, you're, it's not like you're sitting there. You, you can feel, you can feel it coming out of your Exactly. Out of your so, Absolutely. but if the music's not loud enough, then you're embarrassed yeah. because everybody can hear you singing. <laughs> Sing. and if it, you miss one, miss a note. Right. And it kind of sounds <laughs> shitty because you've sang it like 50 times and your voice is dying. Like dying. And, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah um, um, but I've always appreciated how much you care about how I look and yeah, absolutely. ask anybody who works with me. Um, that's my biggest pet peeve. Like yeah. why put something out if you don't look great, better, to, better to not have it at all. Yeah. If you true. don't represent your, because as a female artist yeah. or actress or model or whatever or you are celebrity, like a yeah public figure, right? You yeah. always want to maintain your sex symbol status or whatever that is Absolutely. to you. Um, so you have always that's, you know, that's an interesting question. That's something I, I have to ask you because, you know, I mean, we've been working together for close to 25 years, mm -hmm. you know, we're not getting younger. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how, what does it feel like as you, I, mean, sucks. I, think, I know, I think, I think there's a lot of pressure and expectation on women to continue to looking the same. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? It's very difficult. Yeah. I will say it's harder to age as a famous person than I think it is as just, um, Absolutely. Someone who's living a, a normal life, not a weird life. Like well, we have. And, and out of the public eye. And, and right. you know, nowadays, I mean, you know, social media and the, there's that constant ex expectation to always be on and connect with your audience and, and never age fans. Yeah. No, and no. never age. Yeah. Well, you, you, I think you've, 
you've uh, ripened well. I don't Thank you. Say. I'm like fine wine, <laughs> um, but you know, I'm I'm very 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 as you know, uh, acutely aware of it and critical of myself. Yeah. Very I know, I know, I know that you're hard on yourself. Yeah. Very I want to look amazing and you know, my podcast producers will say, you know, I'm, if, if I see a shot of me or whatever, I mean, it can ruin my entire day Yeah, because I, I'm like, I would rather nobody have seen that than to them have seen a bad shot of me. That's interesting because I'm so, uh, I think you, I think it's a part of the package. Yeah. So you're a great singer, a great writer, yeah. a great producer, a great performer, and you're beautiful. Yeah. And so you need to keep all five yeah. of those things well, going. Well, and, and you know, it's, it's also too, I mean, you know, my mom used to tell me when I was, you know, like once, you know, once I was old enough to go out and buy my own clothes, I would go to like the thrift store and, mm -hmm. you know, pick out all the crazy weird clothes. I mean, I've always been a clothes horse person and I think yeah. you've always been a clothes horse sort of look. And, you know, it, it, there's a fun part of it, you know, to like to, to present yourself. My mom would always say, you know, oh, what costume are you wearing today? You know what I mean? But yeah, but yeah it's it's cool. I like clothes. It's part of I your like, identity. Absolutely. And I like to look good in clothes. I mean, I, I really and I care about my health. Yep. I mean, you know, it's like I try to exercise. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not young anymore. And but I still care about, you know, how I look. Well, you, you look know? and act young. It, well, and, and I think I think I, I, I still feel like I th I'm pretty sure I'm still 23. Yeah, I, I really feel like that. You know? That's what I tell my children and, and anybody younger than me is that you never not feel like you, you reach a certain age and you kind of always stay around 30. Yeah. And you feel the same way. So yeah. when I get dressed and when I, you know, and I remember my dad telling me the same thing, like he was like, I don't feel like I'm in my 60s. Right. Exactly. Um, I feel like I'm in my thirties. Yeah. I have the same mindset. So absolutely. when you're confronted with seeing a picture of yourself or a, a live performance or something, and I will say I'm very lucky because the genes in my family skew younger, yeah. you know, my mom. Oh my gosh. Look at younger. your kids. I mean, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like your family is go You and your family, it's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Well, thank I mean. you. Well, seriously, but it's hard to, sometimes see, you know, the reality and you got to just, um, work that out with yourself yeah. and, and within your own psychology and allow yourself to age. Um, but again, when you're on camera, yeah. it's, it's very hard. Well, we, in our video that we shot with my daughter, I mean, we're, yeah. we're looking right at uh, me and my daughter. I know. And your daughter. And we look just alike, but I look older. Yeah. And that that's, that's not easy. I mean, no, you know, it's so. not. But, but like I said, I think also to me, part, part of, part of what I'm trying to do is embrace, embrace. You can still be beautiful and mm -hmm. older. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You can still, I mean, like I said, I, I mean, think, I'm only I think 52. it's 52. I mean, I I'm not old. No, I know. I, like I said, it's, it's embracing, it's embracing your, your, uh, your energy, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, it, it, like I can, I can be this age and still look good. You know what I mean? There are some of the people, some of the public figures that I really admire, the ones who, you know, obviously they, they're still into self care, but they're, they embraced that age, that the beauty right. of that age. I think sometimes that's, I mean, anybody can look pretty when they're 25 because they're 25, you know, but it's right. about, it's about being able to continue uh, doing what you do and, and embracing, you know, beauty in that, in that time. That's you know, right. That, you know, that's so, right. And having, I mean, I still think you look exactly the same as when yeah, we first started working I, together. Thank you. And I, I feel the same way about you. Yeah. You know? it, it's, we've been lucky, but it is an effort. I mean, yeah. you oh, can't yeah. like, no. And, and I'll, I will be in my casket with <laughs> dark hair. <laughs> Like I'm serious. Like if I'm a hundred and I'm in my okay. casket. I, yeah. Well, now here's, here's the funny thing for me. I embrace, I think that's awesome. I embrace that. See, the problem for me is like, I, I feel like if I were to try and do like do a but you're work a man. on my hair, I know, but still, you know, it's still, it's still hard to see when I get a haircut to see the hair on the floor and go, no, my, it's God, sexy. my God, it's great. It's that's sexy <laughs> when right, you're a man. Okay. Yeah. It's Sarah sexy. Evans says that. Yeah. I promise I'll you. Take it. But as a woman, you know, like we have a friend that, you know, has 
uh, well, she's not my friend, but it's a friend of a friend who um, has let her hair go gray and she's young. She's 30 yeah. something. And yeah, yeah. And I just can't, I will never understand that. I'm like, and I have a great aunt Leona and she dyed her hair blue black her whole life. And when she died, she had black hair yeah. in, in her casket. But, um, uh, I think that's awesome, man. But I do also feel very lucky to have the genes that I have because like I said, my mother looks so young and, yeah. um, well, so, I mean, but the fact that you still care, you know, once again, I, I'll finish. I, I, I kind of ran on this because I, there's so many people I talked to now. It's like, yeah, well, why bother anymore? You know, like they and I see that in men, particularly. Right. Uh, they just sort of give up like, oh, OK, fine. You know what? I'm going to have three desserts, you know, after. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. I, the idea of. Or stuffing yourself. Yeah. Of having like, a basketball would just. Like, no, no. Yeah. And it's not healthy. No, it's, it's not. not healthy. Um, so. We're getting, I know we're talking about talking so much, um, but, but let's go yeah. to, I want to talk a lot about stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the day that we went in to shoot a little bit stronger, uh, and then at the end, I'm going to name all the videos of mine that you've shot Yeah. and then we'll, you know, throw in clips and stuff, but, um, a little bit stronger. We were working with Chandra LaPlume. Yep. Who was running the company. She was repping, that, yeah. Repping and running the executive producer for the production company. Yeah. Right. And, um, this is the saddest story I can ever think of mm -hmm. in my life. And, but she lost a two year old son, son. to a drowning, a yeah, drowning. Yeah. It's and tragic, tragic. I've known Chandra since I got my record deal. She used to work at RCA yep. and then we've been friends all these years. And, um, she asked me to sing at her son's funeral. I remember it well. Yeah. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, yeah. but I, I made my sister Ashley come and sing with me so that I would feel like I had some support. And I remember before going out there, I, I was like punching myself and pinching myself and saying things like, you don't care about these people. You don't care about Cause I was trying to psych myself up to not cry. Fall apart. Yeah. Fall apart. Yeah. And a lot of times I've sang in a lot of funerals, a lot of times the singer is behind something where she can't see the crowd. Mm -hmm. So you can deliver the performance because you do want to be able to get through the song. Um, but I was out there on the stage and could hear and see everybody just absolutely, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. sobbing. Yeah. When we shot the stronger video, that was Chandra's first day back to work, mm -hmm. her very first day back to work after that. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as I saw her, I started crying as soon as I mean, she came on the bus yeah. and it's just like something un, unimaginable. Yeah. I would kill myself. Yeah. You know? And so everybody is like, you were so amazing on that video. The you were such an amazing oh. actor. And I keep telling everybody yeah. I wasn't acting. I was crying yeah. about Chandra because I couldn't stop. Man, you give me back shivers. Thinking Ugh. about it. I mean, I could cry yeah. right now, but because the song itself was like spoke to her. Well, yeah, and, and 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 it is. It's about healing, you know what I mean? And and uh the fact that you were experiencing that from a from a tr from a literal source, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and in the delivery cuz I watched that, uh I watched a couple of our pieces. And, and like I said, it wasn't just the singing part of it. It was just you talking and, and you could hear this sort of like, you know, devastation. You right. I mean, and, and really, I mean, if you think about what Chandra went through, I mean, as a mother, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You being a mother, too. And oh. just the thought of losing, you know, this precious child. I mean, you know, to a horrible accident. Yeah. That I mean, was just something just, yeah, it's just shock. I yeah. Mean, shock. But, but yeah, you, you definitely channeled that kind of emotional energy and, and, you know, it's interesting because, um, i I, be, I became friends with a, uh, a lovely woman, uh, in Austin who does like kind of therapy, um, with, uh, women, women's therapy. And we've kind of become friends, uh, just because we uh, share a passion for, you know, helping people. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of our thing. 
Um, but I, when she found out, I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to shoot this Sarah Evans video. And she goes, oh, my God, Sarah Evans, like, I love her. I worship her. Da, da, da. And she, like, went on and on and on about everything. But then she said, she talked about Stronger. Mm-hmm. And she said, that song saved me because she was in a bad relationship with a guy that, you know, and then, you know, you, you know, you get into a bad relationship like that. They're abusive, uh, both emotionally and physically. Mm-hmm. And you, it's hard for you to extricate yourself. And you finally stop, like I'm ending this. Right. And she said that song, she literally would play that song like five or six times a day. Yes. And when I sent her, I said, Oh, in the, cause I didn't even know it. Cause I was just sending her a couple of videos ago. Oh yeah. Cause she was like, Oh my gosh. So I said, yeah, we did this one. We did, so I, you know, and then when I sent her that one, she just, like I said, and when you, you can heal somebody with your music. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, with a music video. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and to me, like I said, if, if you can make somebody smile or somebody, you know, feel more empowered because mm-hmm. they're trying to get out of a bad relationship or entertained, you know, I mean, I've, I've had, I've had people send me videos of like, um, like, little kids dancing to a video and watching it and doing all the moves on the video. And yeah. like, it's so honoring to feel like you, you impact people. I think there's a responsibility with it, you know, to, 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 to try and, to try and, uh, share and, and create positive effect. Right. You know what I mean? And that's, what's so great. I mean, the last two videos we did, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Pride in 21 days are two ends of the spectrum, you know? I want to talk about pride real yeah, quick because absolutely. before we run out of time, yeah, yeah. we'll drop in all the videos that you've produced of mine. So everybody yeah. can go back and, and watch them. But pride is, um, the second to most recent one, 21 days is the most yeah. recent one we did, which yeah. is awesome. And yeah, yeah. pride is a, a little different because yeah. it was, um, a song that I wrote, you know, about personal things. Very personal. And I remember telling you, I don't want to be too on the nose yeah. with it. So we decided to shoot it in a very male dominated environment, Absolutely. which was a strip yeah. club. Yeah, basically. yeah. It's and a, 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 where women are objectified. Where they're, women are objectified. Yeah, absolutely. And I was on the bus and I was like, oh my God, Audrey needs to play the young me. Yeah. And so you wrote a fabulous um, treatment where we could incorporate Audrey and it, not have it be too on the nose. And once again, what was cool is one of those things where I was, we were, we had, we had decided on the venue. We decided on the concept. We had talked through it all. And then I went out, I went on a skiing trip and you were touring or whatever. And I was sitting there thinking, man, we need to do We need a connection. We need a connection. I went, Oh my God, Audrey would be awesome to play a younger version of Sarah. And you called me that you said, Hey, I got an idea. I got an idea. Like, Literally like 12 hours later and I'm like, okay, okay, what's your idea? She goes, oh, I'm like, I went, oh my God. That's we a- always do that. <laughs> it was like perfect. Yeah, we always do. And then the way that you have us both walking towards the front of the Try stage and, and her me, her me, her me. Absolutely. And we look identical, um, but. It is stunning. And she is a natural born actress. I'm telling you, she needs an agent. She needs, I mean, that she was, does. that's, she's never done that before. And, and on top of it, it's, you're not just playing a character in a music video. It's like, okay, now you have to pole dance. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I mean, she's never done anything like that before in and her then, life. Oh, then you have to confront this guy and you know, yeah, she throws a drink on the was, guys. If you haven't yeah, seen see the video, it. don't give it away for pride. But, you've yeah. got to watch it. Yeah. Because um, she, she did a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. And you, like I said, what was cool, that's a perfect example of, of beauty in age. You know, Mm -hmm. there's young you, and then there's weathered, seen the world and been through some hurt, you know, and still, still surviving. You know what I mean? Exactly. Still going, still surviving. So I thought, I thought that, I thought that played really well. And, and your performance in that one, I thought was really emotional. Like that felt like that was coming in from, it was coming from a deep, deep, deep place of pain. And as soon as I started singing it, I started crying and you can see that on the video, but I think it, it, it did the song, um, incredible justice and you did a beautiful job. Well, and and once again, I, you know, I, I, to me, I think women are marginalized so much in our society and we talk, everybody talks about the Me Too movement and, oh, you know, things haven't changed, have changed very little. And, and like I said, I think we need to continue to, you know, champion, you know, equality and diversity and acceptance Mm -hmm. and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, that's why I liked where we placed it because it, it, it forced you to think about like women are still objectified. Because not only is, he, the man looking at the strippers, like, why are they there? I mean, the first place, I mean, yeah. you know, I've never been to a strip club, but, 
Um, and then at the same time, he's looking at her in, in front of his girlfriend exactly. or wife or whatever. So yeah. he's, yeah, there's a lot you know, of, he, yeah. and he, he was a great actor. I mean, he yeah. did a great job phenomenal of playing a job. total asshole. Absolutely. Phenomenal. I mean, but, but subtle, you know what I mean? Because I think, I think that's the thing is it that, you know, it, there, there is a psychological element that, you know, men don't, can't perceive because they're not, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't experience it firsthand. You correct. Know I mean? So, right. like I said, I, 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 you know, all I can do is hopefully do it some justice, you know, the subject justice, but you know, you manifested that so well. Thank you. you know, that Thank was a you. blast. You know, well, we certainly have had so much success. Some of the best videos I think that have ever been in country music we have made yeah. um, together because we're super thoughtful about it and yeah. we're always on the same page. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you can make an amazing video with a huge budget and a tiny budget. It doesn't yeah. matter. You do the work and you work your ass off well, and you know, you, you know me so well by now. So you don't even, you don't even send roughs that have a bad shot of me. No, and I, that's why I yeah. love you so much. Well, you know, to, you know, to, to kind of in summation, I mean, you look at like 21 days is a really good example of uh, a great idea. Sarah gets, Sarah is fun, doesn't care, playful, having a good time. I mean, basically you, you're basically doing, I love Lucy, you know what I mean? Yes. I mean, it's hilarious, but, but it's also the fact that, um, think about this. It's the first video we've ever done where you were the only person in it and that you were in every frame. Yeah. I mean, and there's least, two characters. Usually, I mean, th there's like, well, to me, there were moments where it felt like there were six characters. True. You're sitting there trying to watch all these people at the same time. I mean, it's, it's the most Sarah's I've had to, you know, nurture, you know, it's the um, most Sarah's you've had to put up with. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry about that. It's like so many of me. That was, that was fun. Um, Peter's so, Avidil, Thank yeah, you so much. I'm so, this hour just flew know, by. Flew by yeah, oh my absolutely. God. We could talk for hours. Abs absolutely. Um, you'll have to come back to when our video gets nominated yeah, for CMT. Yeah, no, anytime. You yes. know, it's, it's such a, such a joy. Thank and, you yeah. so much. And when I do your introduction, I'll do a big, uh, you know, Absolutely. Uh, bio of you and tell <laughs> everybody who you are and in cool. your history. Um, anything else you want to add? Just, I just wanted to say it's, it's, it's just a pleasure to know you as long as I have you're you like too. a sister. You, you know too. what I mean? And, and I'm really proud of all the work that we've done. And, 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 you know, like I said, let's just keep doing more of it because Absolutely. You know, I, I love what I do. And, and, and you're my favorite, most favorite person. I, w I would walk through hell in a gasoline suit for you. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. So. Well, the feeling is mutual. Love. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Bye.